Hello, and welcome to the Flatline Fabrications Living History Project. Today we're very excited to offer you another segment in our interview series of P-38 pilots from World War II. We hope you enjoy this interview. Could you describe for me what a, a typical mission would have been like? Most of the missions were uh, rather drawn out, seat in the pants, wear, your, wear those out, and uh, there wasn't there wasn't a lot of German action. Uh, they were they were pulled back, and they were they just they just weren't bringing up uh, their their fighter aircraft, and so we didn't see as many as we thought we would, uh, which was disappointing to us. And uh, we were looking for fighter aircraft. We never saw any German bombers. Never saw anything like that. But we. Uh, we did see some fighter aircraft, but we uh, had a hard time engaging them because they'd uh, break up in singles and doubles and go to the deck as fast as they could. And they knew where they were, and we didn't have the foggiest idea where we were. So they would hit the deck and then disappear. Do you think a large part of that was because they were afraid of the P-38? Uh, just outnumbered them. We just had too many, too many airplanes. Uh, they weren't afraid of anything, I'm sure of that, but uh, uh, they were outnumbered. And when you flew those escort missions, was there a certain point in the mission where you you stayed back while the bombers actually went on their run, or did you escort them all the way through? We uh, sometimes do both, and when we escorted them all the way through, we stayed off to one side or the other, quite a ways away away from the target area. So then we pick them up on the way out. We never got in to where they were actually dropping the bombs. And did you ever experience flak fire yeah, well, while you were escorting? Oh yeah. Yeah, the Germans would take a shot at the fighters every once in a while too. Primarily they were concentrating on the bombers. Tell the story about the bomber that when you were um it was headed back to England, mm -hmm. and you came alongside well, of it, and they were throwing everything in the world out of the bomber? Mm -hmm. I don't re recall that one, too. Yes, well... And then the man recently yeah. got a hold a few years back, yes. was looking for which uh, P-38s were escorting that bomber, because it was in trouble. And they were dumping everything out of that, but one of the guys took a picture of one of the, the planes that was beside them and I think that was a P-51. It was but, a P-51 yeah, but, and Dad somehow it all connected and Dad said that's my squadron and got a hold of the man that was in the bomber and the bomber actually did make it back. Yeah. And they've connected. Unusual. Yeah that is. I found that it's a very small world though when you yeah, look at the whole piece. It is a very small world, that's right. So, Did your plane have a specific name? Did you name your plane that you flew in? Oh, yeah. I had one I called uh, Something Baby. What, uh, what was the first name? I've never heard what yeah. you called your plane. Well, one of them was, had Baby on the back, and now I can't remember the first part. Uh, nearly all planes had a, a trick name, you know. and Portland Baby. That was it, Portland Baby. And did you have any actual artwork or nose art on the plane, or just the name, or? Uh, yes, there was artwork on most of the airplanes. And uh, my, I can't remember my, my particular one. I had several, uh, I think three different airplanes, and they all had different, you know, artwork. But, uh, Didn't one of the guys take one of your planes and flew it and yeah, That's why we, he told me he killed himself with it. I don't remember that, but that's entirely possible. <laughs> so, I also read that you flew P-51s, is that correct? Or was that, did you just fly the P-38? No, we flew P-51s also. We changed over from 38s fairly rapidly after the invasion. We flew P-38s during the invasion and then we started changing over to P-51s and 38s all went into the 
uh, a different air force in Europe. So then you, you actually flew P-51s so after that? We flew more P-51 time than we flew P-38 time in, in uh, Europe. So and Dad, what planes did you fly on D-Day? On D-Day, uh -huh. we flew P-38s. It was P-38s on D-Day. Mm -hmm. And the P-38s that you flew, did they have the invasion stripes on them, the white and they black? They certainly did. Mm -hmm. He said when they got up in the morning, right, nobody mm -hmm. knew anything. Mm -hmm. They got up in the morning, he went out, mm -hmm. and during the night, they had changed the stripes on all the planes mm -hmm. to the invasion stripes. The invasion stripes, right. as they were known. Well, I read that there was an order given to come up with an identification for all Allied aircraft that would allow everybody to quickly recognize them and that that, was, that it. was it because they were trying to come up with something that was in the field that could be done to every airplane and everybody had black and white paint mm -hmm. so that was the, the decision that was made that makes sense <laughs> so, that's, that's what happened <laughs> Were you actually flying on, on June 6th during the invasion yes. then? Yeah, I flew on the invasion day, B-38. Uh -huh. And was that an escort mission or was that surveillance or reconnaissance? Oh gosh, do you have the first, some of the first missions there? Well, the one to, on June 6th, Dad, for D-Day, yeah. was that just, that was, was that, that, was that escorting bombers? No. It was just providing uh, P-38 support in general, just sort of in general. That was June 6th, right? June 6th. 1944? Yep. yep. And what does it say there? Here it is. 